Hey everyone, this is Christ Psycho. Today we will be covering over a much requested topic, which is the pistols. We will be breaking down their use case, viability, and later provide some suitable builds. First, let's discuss the Elkar. This pistol is an excellent option if your primary weapon isn't effective at close range. The Elkar addresses that issue by offering a competitive time to kill on par with aggressive SMGs. It has a fast time to kill, the fastest strafe speed in the game, better hitfire accuracy than most top SMGs, and above average aiming and reload speeds. However, it has a smaller magazine, hard recoil, and less effective range than other SMGs, but it's still a good choice for close quarters combat. We recommend this build for the Elkar. Next we have the Renetti. This seemingly underpowered burst pistol actually has high potential. It can kill extremely fast in 144 milliseconds with a single burst, effective up to 16 meters. Beyond that range, you need to hit all three shots in the upper body. The Renetti has a learning curve due to its recoil pattern and burst weapons are naturally challenging to use. Despite this, it offers accurate ADS and hip fire, good mobility, and impressive versatility and insane time to kill, making it one of the best pistols if mastered. Here's the build for it. Now let's talk about the MW11. This seemingly useless pistol has a surprising niche. It's excellent as a finished pistol alongside a sniper. It deals enough damage and has good hipfire accuracy to finish off an enemy after a sniper hit marker. While the Elkar can also serve this role, the MW11 is more effective. It not only excels at finishing hit marker enemies, but also offers sprint speed close to that of a melee weapon, making it great for rotations and overall movement. Here's the recommended build for the MW11. Next is the Dabra, a pistol that annoys ranked warriors. This is more of a toxic pistol than an effective pistol. It has the akimbo perk and an 80 round drug mag per pistol, giving you a whopping larger 60 rounds total. Its time to kill competes with aggressive SMGs, but its range is even shorter than the L car. However, its fast fire rate, large magazine, good head fire accuracy, and competitive time to kill make it great for spamming in close quarters. You can also use this as a single Dobra which retains its benefits and has better range when aiming down sights, but this worsens its time to kill making it less effective but still annoying alternative to the L-Car. We recommend using this build for the Dobra. The J358 has become a new favorite for competitive players due to its unique stats. It can one shot to the chest up to 6 meters and two shot the entire body up to 40 meters. It also features the fastest sprint speed for a pistol tied with the MW11 and only slightly slower than melee weapons. Adding a rubberized grip and light compensator eliminates almost all bullet spread and recoil, making it great for long-range engagements and effective against head glitches. It's also competitive in close quarters due to its capability to kill with one shot to the chest. The main downsides are its small magazine size, slow fire rate, and lack of suppression. This is the build we recommend for the J358. What if you need a secondary that can engage opponents beyond close range? That's where the 50GS comes in. Compared to the J358, it sacrifices some mobility but offers several advantages, such as nearly double the magazine size, a suppressor, and the strongest aim assist in the game. This makes it arguably the best pistol to pair with SMGs and shotguns allowing you to engage opponents at a distance. Here's the recommended build we use for the 50GS. We covered pocket SMGs and pocket SKSs, but what about a pocket shotgun? Meet the Shorty. It can achieve a one-shot kill up to 5 meters and a two-shot kill potential up to 15 meters. This makes it an excellent secondary weapon for clearing corners and small rooms when your primary isn't effective. However, the Shorty has some downsides. It has a short range, a small magazine, holding up to two shells at a time. We recommend this build for the Shorty. Where does the newest pistol fit in? Um, almost nowhere. It offers a Kimball single and burst modes. We don't recommend burst mode as it's a slower version of a single fire with no real advantages. The single fire option could be seen as an L-Car alternative with a faster fire rate, but its bullet velocity makes it time to kill worse at certain ranges. Unlike the L-Car, it lacked redeeming qualities like hit fire accuracy, strafe speed, or mobility, aside from the fastest ADS speed. Its fire rate makes it easier to use, but the small magazine limits its effectiveness. Enhancing its range means it won't be suppressed. The L-Car still outperforms it in close quarters combat, even though the machine pistol has a faster time to kill in very close range. The Akimbo mode is better for hit fire accuracy and makes it competitive up to 6 meters, but at that range, a skilled player will benefit more from the shorty. The Akimbo Dabra is a better option if you want to use Akimbo pistols. Here's the recommended build for machine pistols. This has been Christ Saiku, The Going Dark.